Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom. I'm Rob. And today we're going to be fitting the dash. Now, they've already done the hard part and cut the hole for the clocks and given us somewhere to put them. Yep. Um, we've actually picked an alternative mounting method, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, <laughs> and today we have the easy job of just drilling a hole for the steering column. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. Yep. MK, um, the way it says in the guide, is to basically do a big U shape so you can just lift the column up into the dash. Yep, and then you've got a big uh, like shrouding, shall we say? Yeah, which but, goes, yeah. yeah which, go, it, which will cover it. Yeah, normally you'll have uh, your indicators and everything which covers the hole. Yep. We don't have that. We just have uh, a two inch, just yep. under two inch shaft coming out for the, dry, uh, the column, and that is it. So we wanted to make it a little bit neater and yep. a little bit harder, and we want to drill a hole in the center and then just slide it over and it'll fit absolutely perfectly. Fingers crossed. How much are they? Mm, don't know, 100 quid? <laughs> but it's, it's the time that it took to do that. Yeah, yeah, the mountain. Right, so before we get stuck into it, let's jump to that intro. Right, so templating. Now, there's a few different options. Rob has gone for the Corex, Cordex, um, like floor covering stuff from Wix. This was two or three quid a sheet. Yeah, two pound a sheet, something like that. So. Um, so you can obviously make a template. Now, the only issue is, show the dash again. The dash isn't flat, so it's got contours on the back and the front. So making this actually perfect is not that simple. Yeah. What we have done is basically laid that face down kind of on top of the dash, had a little quarter triangle, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, and we've just made it exactly the same size. We've offered that onto the, the dash of the car, the, against this, the scuttle. against the scuttle on the car, yeah. put masking tape on, drawn around it, and then basically made a piece the same out of our cortex, and put it on, and then put a second piece with a hole sword hole in, and slid it over and centralized it around the column, which I'll show you in a sec, um, which technically should give us the perfect template, which we're then gonna drop onto the front of that yeah. and just, Smash through. And go for it. Now, the other options are, you, which we've seen other people do, who have done a similar thing to us, is make a make a template just out of masking tape. Just just literally mask all the way across, yep. and then peel push, it off. push a column through it, make the hole or whatever, then peel the tape off and just lay the tape on that. Or a piece of card, piece of cardboard. Any, anything to make a template with that can yeah, be sturdy and I mean, enough. If, test, it, test it three or four times. It's one of those, isn't it? You do it as many times as you want to do it till you think you're going to get it right. We're Should we double check the guide to see if... confident. I didn't actually check it for, like, because I believe bike engines have, some bike engines have our, right, the column like we're doing. Okay. Well, let me, uh, let me walk over to the car and I'll show them the template. Okay, so this is our template, the way we've done it. So you can see... This is the, the first layer, this one. And then what we've done is we've made a second circular layer, which we've then put on top and just taped, taped to it. And then it gives you that nice symmetrical sort of two or three mil gap all the way around the column. It doesn't um, actually tell you how to cut it. So, Okay, cool. So well, there's no is, pictures anyway. So winging it is the right way to do yeah, it, then, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Seems legit. Yeah. So, what's our next thing? Um, we gonna peel that off and stick it on the dashboard? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, all right, let's uh, come around and do that. So you can see what we've done there. We've done the line. See the line, although the line's a bit out this end. But yeah, we've got the line. <laughs> we may check this once more before cutting it. What do you reckon? Nah. You well, happy? Yeah. Well, when we did the template, we were it off was slightly out a there, little yeah. bit on this this edge. As long as the top and the curve lined up, we were happy. Yeah. Which it does. So. Go on then. Uh, Pull it off and then show them. Show them what it looks like. There you go. Let's see. That's where we've done our line. So much masking tape. You can tell we're not on price. There we go. Beautiful. 
off she goes. There we go, lovely jubbly. So, there's our template. Show us the back edge. So it's a bigger yeah, hole. Bigger hole, and then a smaller hole over the top. All right, throw that on top of the uh, existing one. The old dashboard. Pepe's is preparing our order, Rob. Oh yeah. So as you can see, guys, our line is off here, but it's nice round there. So what I think we'll do, we'll Hold stick. On, let me come from above because it's not good. Oh, I didn't have a good angle. Yeah. So. So we're good there, and then you can just see it does go off. And then what are you going to do? Just uh, I'm draw with a pen. You're going to just go bang on it. I think. You can mask it if you want. It doesn't make oh, any no. difference. Where's that white pen? As always, prepared as ever. Well, it's about something. I think it's on the floor behind you, to be fair. Oh, no, it's not. It's under, by the vice. Worst case, we'll just have to get MoFast to send us a nice carbon trim. Yeah, and we're going to paint this anyway, aren't we? So. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we could always fill it. Rattle can, Rob. Does it come in a rattle can? What do you mean? Wraps up. Yeah, it is a rattle can, yeah. Yeah. So. Happy days. Yeah, we're going to go for a textured finish because we'd. Because with the carbon, the carbon isn't like gloss black, so it's the, mm. the textured paint looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? Looks a bit more OEM. Not that there's an OEM in this scenario, but... No, but... <laughs> Are we saying there? Yeah, I'd say so, because there was a slight gap. This is just a chalky paint pen. And then Rob's going to get his, his ruler out and work out the centre of that. That is it. It looks awfully low down, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but the column's not exactly at the top, is it? No. The column is quite a way down. Okie dokie, so where is my ruler? It is in the bag over there. We got my set square, it's in, the, in that bag, just to get the ruler out. Do, do, do. So it's, we're saying internal to internal is 45 mil. So 22.5 with a 5 mil pen. Yeah. <laughs> and then hopefully, because it's a circle, it'll be the same. Yeah, <laughs> it is. That works well. And then, of course, Rob has a really, really sharp drill bit. Because, uh, is it, was it, remind me, fiberglass, we haven't cut holes for a while. Fiberglass prefers a sharp drill bit? No, I or think it prefers a blunt, a blunt bit. drill bit? I think I will do like a pilot first. Oh, I mean, for the pilot hole, a sharp bit will be fine, because it doesn't matter if it splinters a little bit, but it likes something with a little bit of a bird edge, doesn't it? Yeah. Which seems mad, because you think sharp would just cut for it nice, but apparently not. Careful of his new garage floor. I thought we was done with all this fiberglass work. Gonna be itching for days again. Were we following the the guide? Should we, this have been done about six months ago? We never follow the guide. Should or this the have been done about six months ago, <laughs> probably. Yeah, that's definitely not the sharpest. Oh wow. No, it's I'm, sharp. I was just I'm going. definitely gonna have to speed that up. <laughs> I just weren't pushing. <laughs> a few moments Behind you. later. So. Are we actually gonna go for this? Oh, uh, I'm a bit worried. We've drilled all now, so there's no real going back. Well I guess we're wrapped to painting it, so we'll just fill and fill and Yeah. Yeah, we can always uh refiberglass it. <laughs> yeah. Um all right guys, let's go for it. So nice and slow. Oh, it sounds so vile. He was going for it then, he slowed down and was like, yep, yeah, sorry. No, uh, do you remember we put masking tape on all our other fiberglass yeah, work? Yeah. So after all our experience, we then don't... Remember what Neil said as well? What's that? 
careful with the old fiberglass dust. Get the old Hoover out quick. Right, we'll come back to you after we've Hoovered, because there's no point in you listening to Rob Hoover. Proof, though. Proof Rob does the Hoovering. Yeah. Don't tell me misses. Oh, yeah. Oi, oi, look at that. Yeah. Come on, boys. Right. Do you want to show them what we've got fitted for that? So, MK do supply a carbon fibre sleeve, but we've actually done something a little bit different with some alley. Um, so we've made a sleeve, MB special, thank you very much, with a garter, what did I say it was? A garter seal. Garter seal, yeah. So, so that basically will, a rubber seal to stop water ingress and, and whatever. Because you've got a bear in here, it's not going to be that bad, but obviously we wanted to protect it as much as possible. And then on the inside, there's an O-ring, you, uh, you probably won't see no, it, it won't but there's an O-ring just to sort of grip it from rattling around. And of course it's been anodized. Yeah, so Mac One Engineering in Aylesbury done a lovely job on the anodizing. So that pushes on there. And then, that'll center the hole nicely, look at we'll, that. We'll just get a little bit of U trim around there. But that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. That is. And for, for, a, for a, just a, having a go quick one. Yeah. Right, um, whip it off quickly and show them the back of the, with the clocks mounted. And then we'll jump yes. to how we're gonna fix this thing to the car. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll show them how the clocks are mounted, but we won't mount the clocks because it'll make it quite No, 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 heavy. no, no, I just wanted to show what we've oh, done. Okay, so in the guide, in the guide, guys, you have your, if you're using your Mazda clocks, you've yep. got your Mazda clocks. And what you do, you just bond them in with some Tiger Seal. Now the issue is if they break. Yeah, if you break or have an issue, you can get them out by removing the, as long as you only stick the plastic lid in, you can remove them by unclipping the plastic lid, but if you bond around the whole thing, you ain't getting your clocks out. So if they break, game over. What we've done, um, these two plates is just a bit of aluminium with some drilled holes so the glue come through, yep. and with some riv nuts upside down to catch a thread. And here we've got, um, it's like a little plate with a stud on that we got off eBay. I'll get Dom to drop a little link below. Oh yeah, they're what we, yeah, yeah. We've used them, we're gonna use yeah. them to fix a dash as well. But that just means, the, the clocks sit in. And then you can just put a bolt through. you can through. just put a bolt through. Look at that, look. And they just do up. And it means and it's removable. And we're gonna, make these, we're gonna make the dash pod remove yep. uh, the whole. Fully removable. Yeah. Nice and central. Bit of U-trim around that. Nice little job, that. Lovely jobby. Right, let's, uh, we'll just get prepared for working out how we're gonna fix the dash and then we'll come back and show you. Okay, so now we are ready to bond them. Now what we've done Rob's just knocking up a bit of two-part epoxy, is we got these clips. Um, they're like a, they normally come in a circle. They're normally all the way around. I'll show you one in a minute. There you go. And all we've done is trim it just so that it fits the dash. There's, that's what they look like. Um, and then we've trimmed it to fit the dash. Um, and what we did to start with was we worked out roughly where we want them. So sort of one at each end and then one in the middle not too close to the, the center bezel where the clocks are gonna be. Um, and then we worked out the center roughly between sort of where the dash starts and the bottom, drilled a hole, put the clip in, and then we put two squares of double-sided tape on it to try and build it up just so that it was sort of flush enough like you can see there. Um, and then we pushed the dash onto it and then it came away with a clip. So now Rob's just gonna arrow dye them on. He's realized he's probably gonna have to make some more. Yep. Because he didn't make enough. I, did, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, he's arrowed them on. And then uh, this takes five to 10 minutes to go off and then it'll be hard as nails and that'll be the dash fitted. Quite a straightforward one, but it is one of those measure 10 times and then just do it the once. We did measure once, cut once. Yeah, but that was pure fluke. We plated a couple of times. Yeah, so this gear, you just two part and then knock it together for a minute so it goes a cloudy color make sure you get it mixed good and then you have five minutes to work with it before it goes rock solid rob's going to stick his fingers together how much was the old glue rob yeah, it was about seven quid something like that i did opt for the uh gorilla glue so yeah i mean so the more Harold dye evo they, there's loads of brands it's what they had in b and q that set it the quick they did have one that stinks s absolutely stinks they had one that set in one minute but i thought that's not enough there's time. not enough time there and Carefully your beard. You've got a nice majestic mane. The last thing you want to do is get this gear on it because you will be stuffed. Oh, it smells like rotten eggs. 
Yeah, so Rob's just trying to get it on both the dash and the foot. And going through the hole, so. And going through the holes. It really grips it. In a nice blobby mess. This, and then, yeah. This doesn't have to look pretty, guys. It's nope. just. Make and sure. this. This just means you haven't bonded your dash on, so you can get it on and off as you need. So I think normally most people drill through the dash and like nut and bolt it, but we wanted that seamless dash. We wanted that hidden, yeah, hidden fixing. Is, everything else is kind of similar. So like tiny bonnet pins and... Everything's hidden. Hmm. But yeah, the, I mean, these. where'd you get these fixings from? The, which ones? Oh, they're from eBay, mate. It's about, I think they're like 10, 10 pound for 10 or something like that. They're not cheapest. Yeah, but, but what else did we use them on? We used them on the um, the uh, scuttle, didn't we? The over the top bit. Yeah, we used them for the scuttle. We've used them for... Oh, no, the, the scuttle actually gets bolted. Oh, yeah, it's bolted. Uh, we, we used, used them for the nose cones. For nose the, cone, that was it, yeah. And then we've for also... For the grill. Yeah, for yeah. the grill. And we've used them for the clocks down here. Yeah. They were fiberglassed in. Yeah. Oh, that looks much better. Now we just wait for this to go off and then we'll give you a final look. Oh, and if it helps you have a go-kart just to rest your stuff on. Yeah. In the winter. Okay, so we've got the dashboard, board, pod, cluster, what, I don't know what you want to call it. Dashboard. Dashboard, dash moulding is on. We just waited for the, uh, the clips to go off and dry. Yep. We may need to add a small amount more resin just to sort of make them double strong. Yep. Um, you slid your new little Trim on there, look, lovely jubbly. Yeah. And it, it fits really nice, especially because we've done the uh, the tunnel top. Yep. So it all kind of bonds. So the only thing nice we one. need to do now is just put a little bit of U-trim around there just to fill that hole. Yeah, put this side panel on. Put this, this side panel on, yeah. We're going to put a USB charging point here, just under here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, probably like there, I guess. Yeah, just so you can have yeah, the lead. Because no doubt you're probably going to want to stick a... A phone thing sat for sat here or something. Yeah, something. Um, but yeah, probably put a USB there so it's hidden, nice and out of the way. Mm. I'll probably fit my start stop maybe somewhere here. Yeah. I don't know. I'd probably have it to the right to be fair. What, here? Yeah. Yeah, it could have it there. Otherwise, if... you've got to reach on the inside of the steering wheel to get it. Yeah, as long as the loom's long enough. Do you know what we're missing? What's that? Steering wheel. Magic of YouTube. Magic of YouTube. When Go I click in. my fingers, we'll have a steering wheel. We're oh, on. Wow, look at that. Flip it, neck. That's cool. And that is the remainder of your buttons. And that is everything. Let's have a look at this from ooh, a better angle. So, we've got indicators, we've got side lights, headlights, dip and main, we've got a fog light, we can flash, obviously the other indicator. We've got provisional for screen wash and washer motors. Yep. Then you've got your hazard light and your handbrake. Very cool indeed. And that is everything we need, thanks to Simtech. Now, I just wonder, I wonder if that's going to be... Nice. Once I'm in my seat, a little bit further forward. Bear in mind, forward, you are sitting on the floor. On the floor. I'll be up a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a right nice driving position now. Does it look cool? Like, looks cool. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Much better than like a slotted, slotted bomb. Obviously, we haven't got the column to cover the gap anyway, have we? So. No. So then we're going to just have a little start-stop button here. I might even do it there. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Just start-stop, just bosh. Yeah. Just in the middle of that, just put my start-stop button. Just so I can go... <laughs> yeah, probably first start but no yeah. that that looks all right and that dash job was yeah. actually it weren't too bad to fit was it to be honest yeah we haven't actually bolted him in properly but no just, just to give you an up. idea of what it looks like but yeah really chuffed with that yeah really chuffed it looks really smart doesn't it yeah nice cool yeah. awesome so what's next um, what is left on our pre-IVA list? Maybe fitting seats, because yeah, well, yeah. we haven't actually that got any seats. That would help. That would actually help having a seat fitted in the car. Um, other Nut than that... caps and all the pre-IVA yeah, trimming guess, around all the, the yeah. holes and everything. Yeah, trim. And then Maybe. work out everything we haven't done. Rear boot cover. Boot cover's done, it just needs putting on. Yeah. Um, uh, battery, coolant. Well, yeah, those bits are done, but they got taken off, so we do need to put them back on. So yeah. I have sprayed up that... Uh, scuttle panel, the, the L piece. Maybe Raptor start paint. the car? Yeah. Well, Put I need, fuel in it? Need an ECU for that. Oh, yeah, get an ECU. So there's so. a few bits to do then. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, that looks really smart and I'm well chuffed with that. Yes, mate, looks really good. Yeah, nice. Well, we'll leave well, it there, I guess. Yeah, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys. Bye for now.